Big Boy 4014 Steam Locomotive, Return to Steam. Union Pacific Steam Locomotive number 4014 is considered to be one of the largest locomotives ever built. It was one of 25 Big Boy locomotives built for the Union Pacific Railroad between 1941 and 1944 by the American Locomotive Company. These were large articulated locomotives with a 4884 wheel arrangement. Essentially, these were two locomotives rolled into one running off a shared boiler. The articulated design allows the front set of four pilot wheels and eight driving wheels, often called an engine, to pivot separately from the rest of the locomotive. This allowed the big boys to travel through much tighter curves than if all the wheels were on one rigid frame. Big boy locomotives were designed to pull long, heavy freight trains through the mountains of Wyoming and Utah without the assistance of a helper locomotive. They could put out over 6,000 horsepower and operated at a boiler pressure of 300 pounds per square inch. The locomotive and tender combined weighed in at 1,250,000 pounds and measured in at over 132 feet in length. Top speed for these locomotives was 80 miles per hour, although in service they were limited to 70 miles per hour. The big boys served the Union Pacific Railroad well for nearly 20 years. In 1959, the last big boy was retired from service. While most of these magnificent machines were scrapped, eight of the 25 big boy locomotives were saved and donated to various museums across the United States as examples of the pinnacle of steam locomotive technology. Nearly 60 years later, in 2013, Union Pacific made a deal with the Rail Giants Train Museum in Pomona, California to reacquire Locomotive 4014 and restore it to operation to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad in the year 2019. Locomotive 4014 was moved from California to Cheyenne, Wyoming in early 2014 where it was fully restored at the Union Pacific Steam Shops by Ed Dickens and the Union Pacific Steam Team. On May 1, 2019, the locomotive moved under its own power for the first time in nearly 60 years, and on May 2nd it made its first official test run out of Cheyenne. Late in the afternoon of May 2, 2019, Union Pacific 4014 begins to leave the Cheyenne Rail Yard. It comes to a stop at the west end of the yard to receive some lubrication. About a half hour later, just after 7 p.m., the locomotive is on the move again with a short test train.
At Spear, Wyoming, the 4014 makes another stop for more lubrication and inspection in the fading light. The train wouldn't be on the move again until after dark. Just two days later, on Saturday, May 4th, the big boy was scheduled to leave Cheyenne on its first excursion trip. The Great Race to Ogden, as it was called, was scheduled to take place from Saturday, May 4th through Sunday, May 19, 2019. Big Boy 4014 was set to pull a special train along with Union Pacific Steam Locomotive 844 from Cheyenne, Wyoming to Ogden, Utah and return to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad. The route for the special excursion was over most of the Union Pacific's original Transcontinental Rail Line built between 1863 and 1869. This also happens to be the stretch of rail line that the big boys regularly operated over when in service. On the first day, the train was scheduled to travel from Cheyenne to Rollins, Wyoming, day two from Rollins to Rock Springs, and day three from Rock Springs to Evanston. Day four was a scheduled rest day due to planned track work. Day five was the last day of the train's westbound journey running between Evanston, Wyoming and Ogden, Utah through beautiful Echo Canyon and Weaver Canyon. After a weekend of celebration in Ogden, the train was scheduled to return east to Cheyenne on Sunday, May 12th. Let's now follow the big boy and train on its first excursion run. Returning to the hill at Spear, Wyoming, we see the big boy just a few miles southwest of Cheyenne as it begins its first excursion trip. Thousands of people line the tracks to witness this historic occasion. With the large amount of freight traffic on the Transcon, there is always a chance that the view of the train will be blocked. At Rock River, Wyoming, the steam special rolls by just seconds before an eastbound freight clears the view.
just a few miles short of the final stop for day one in Rollins, Wyoming, the 4014 rolls through the town of Sinclair. The train is running about two hours late, due largely to longer than scheduled servicing stops in Laramie and Medicine Bow. On the second day, the train makes a stop at Wham Sutter, Wyoming for servicing. Large crowds have gathered to get an up-close view of the world's largest operating steam locomotive. 4014 was built in November of 1941. It was the second to last big boy locomotive in service on the Union Pacific, pulling its last train on July 21st, 1959. In service, the 4014 traveled over one million miles while working for the Union Pacific. It was donated to the Rail Giants Train Museum in Pomona, California in 1961. 4014 was chosen by the Union Pacific Steam Team as the best of the eight big boy locomotives for restoration, both because it was overall in the best condition, having been stored and maintained in the relatively mild Southern California climate, and because of the surviving locomotives, it was one of the last ones to be overhauled by the railroad in the days of steam. During the restoration, 4014 was converted from burning coal to burning number no. 5 oil. The big boys got their name shortly after the first locomotive was built when an unknown employee wrote the name Big Boy in chalk on the smoke box door of the very first big boy as it rolled out of the shops. As a nod to this history, the name Big Boy has been written in chalk once again, this time on the front of the 4014. After a 45 minute stop in Wham Sutter, the train continues on to Rock Springs.
At dawn on the third day, the sun rises above a cloud on the horizon. The train is already rolling along, having departed Rock Springs just after 4 a.m. This early departure was made because of planned track work. Forty fourteen brings the train under the Highway 30 overpass as it pulls into the second service stop at Granger. Approaching the yard at Evanston, the train comes to a stop. Some large rocks and chunks of cement used to prevent erosion were placed too close to the tracks for the 4014 cylinders to clear. A backhoe was called in to move away the rocks before the train could proceed.
on the fifth morning of the trip. A light rain is falling as the special rolls down grade through Echo Canyon. The roads were jammed with people trying to get a view of the train on this particular morning. Several thousand cars piled onto Interstate 80 and Highway 30, bringing traffic to a crawl. Utah's incident management team was on hand to help with the crowds as the 4014 made a stop in Echo, Utah for servicing. The train was kept right on schedule, even leaving the second service stop in Morgan 10 minutes early. Traffic continued to crawl through Weber Canyon as people attempted to get pacing shots of the train from the road. With the Wasatch Mountains in the background, the 4014 rolls out the last few miles into Ogden. The next day, May 9th, a special ceremony was held at the Ogden Depot by Union Pacific to recognize the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad in 1869 and the restoration of the Big Boy 150 years later. From the window of a front-runner commuter train, we see the 4014 parked in the Ogden rail yard waiting for the special ceremony to begin. Crowds began gathering as early as 5 a.m. for the event. Union Pacific 844 was already out and on full display.
After a few speeches were made by railroad officials and local politicians, the 4014 was brought out and parked nose to nose with the 844, emulating the famous photograph of the completion of the original Transcontinental Railroad. Forty fourteen rolls to a stop amid cheering from the crowd. Following the short ceremony, people began to explore the Spike 150 festival held in front of the Ogden Depot. The next day, May 10th, 2019, would mark 150 years since the official completion date of the Transcontinental Railroad. On May 10th, over 10,000 people have gathered at the Golden Spike National Historic Park at Promontory Summit, Utah. This was the completion site of the original Transcontinental Railroad. A special event was held on this date to acknowledge the anniversary with more speeches, the dedication of a new Utah copper spike, a reenactment, and plenty of display booths. The United States Post Office also debuted special stamps to commemorate the completion of the railroad. Back in Ogden, crowds continued to gather around the big boy and gaze in wonder. Along with the 4014, 844 and the rest of the train were also on display for viewing. Union Pacific also had a special display car open to the public. After sitting on display for one more day, the big boy and train would begin the week-long return trip to Cheyenne. On the morning of Sunday, May 12th, the special is seen entering Weber Canyon on the first day of the return trip. Today's run will take the train from Ogden to Evanston. About 80 tickets were sold to the general public as part of a fundraiser for the Golden Spike Foundation and the Union Pacific Museum. Coach seats were priced at $3,000 and dome seats at $5,000. More people than ever were gathered to see the 4014 on this beautiful sunny spring Sunday. All along the rail line, folks were standing trackside to wait for the big boy.
Day two of the return trip came with morning sun, but a lighter crowd. On this day, the 4014 would travel from Evanston to Rock Springs, Wyoming. The train was held about 20 minutes beyond its 8 a.m. scheduled departure time to wait for a high-priority eastbound intermodal container train. With the intermodal train out of the way, the big boy departed for Rock Springs. After a service stop at Granger, the train continued on toward Green River and Rock Springs. Following the arrival into Rock Springs, the train would sit on display for two full days before continuing to Rollins, Laramie, and eventually Cheyenne. It is here that we leave the big boy as it disappears with its train into the distance. 
thank you for coming along on this special journey for UP4014 Big Boys inaugural run, and a big thanks to Ed Dickens and the Union Pacific Steam Team, along with the Union Pacific Railroad, for making this long-time dream for so many a reality. To find out more about the Union Pacific Steam Program, please visit upsteam.com. For more on Spike 150 and the anniversary of the Transcontinental Railroad, visit spike150.com. Last but not least, to learn more about the Rail Giants Train Museum, longtime home of the 4014 Big Boy, go to railgiants.org. Be sure to check out my Instagram, Facebook, and Flickr pages for even more great content, and remember, there's always a new video around the bend every Friday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Time right here on the YouTube channel. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.